Hey, welcome to Sunday. Um, I'll be honest, I wasn't intending to start the vlog yet. I, I slept in because I needed it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to clean my bathroom because it's dirty. Well, it, it's not dirty. I, I, I haven't had time to clean it in a while. And I thought, could do with a, a scrub. Um, and I was just listening to uh, one of my favorite podcasts. And then I remembered that somebody on the Discord... <clears throat> who's an old follower of the channel, um, asked for people to audition for a project they're doing. And I was going to do it. I forgot. And the deadline is tomorrow. So... I'm going to do that now. <laughs> and then I'm going to get back to um, cleaning. <laughs> I thought this would be a good time to start the stream. All right, let's do that. It's not very exciting, but I wanted to share with you this momentous occasion. And honestly, you might find it a little gross. Um, so I'm finishing up my cleaning. This cobweb has been in that corner for at least, what month were we in? May? Nine months? Um, which is probably a little disgusting. Uh, like, nothing lives in it. It's just there. And it's just been above my monitor for ages. But I, I have the duster now because it's the last step of my big, deep clean. So uh, I'm going to get rid of that cobweb, finally. And it's going to be a little bit weird not having it in the corner. There he is. Somebody sing a funeral dirge. And he's gone. Just clean that down there. There we go. Look at that. It just dust off the top of my monitor. Yeah. There are people out there that will think that is disgusting. And pro they're probably right. There's, it's probably bad for me, but mm, it wasn't bothering anyone. And spiders are friends. So, you know, it's all... But it's clean now. And my desk is... Could do with the dust. Maybe that's what I'll do now. Um, I haven't done, like, a proper deep clean for a hot minute. Uh, for several reasons. Like, I, don't get me wrong, I don't live in squalor. Like, when I, when, when shit needs cleaning, it gets cleaned. When I, when I sit there and I'm like, oh, that's bad, I need to clean. I clean. Like, I, if I was doing a proper deep clean, I'd, like, change my bedding. But I don't want to do that today, because I'm already sweaty and gross. And also I did washing yesterday, I can't be fucked. Um, that, that's the next week job. I'll do it soon. Um... <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I don't get time to do much of a, a, a deep, deep clean because of uh, life. It's, uh, we've talked several times now. I've mentioned it on several things. Um, I'll say it again for the people in the back. I have been working without an extended break for almost six months. So, oh, shit. And to some people, that's, like, a good job. Suck it up. Do another six. That's weird for me. Like, I... I I've been in... I've been in school all my life. Uh, I was I was in school. I graduated my, my bachelor's in 2021. Yeah. So I've been in school consistently from about 2002 to 2021. Almost 20 years. Um, and then I went to work in a school for a year. Don't think I've talked about that. I worked at a school last year. So I got school holidays then as well. And now I'm back at uni doing a master's. So I'm like back in the school system. So I haven't ever experienced like real work ever. So some people are like, yeah, yeah, yo, yo, six months. That's not crazy. Fucking try again. But I uh, don't... That doesn't happen to me. So the fact that I've been working solidly for about six months with no break means that I don't know how to deal with it yet. And so some stuff falls by the wayside. And recently, that has been the general cleanliness of the room that I live in and the room that you see me in. Because I live with my parents. Um, so, yeah. 
I just had to take some time today. And look, the PS4s, that's the cleanest the PS4's been in about a year. Uh, I have no excuse for that one. I just don't like moving everything off my desk to dust it. That one's on me entirely. Um, yeah. So it's getting used to adult life, which is the problem. Because, um, you know, I was working on Peter Pan as much as I enjoyed it. I got one day off a week. I was doing long hours and I was stressed out. So every time there was... So every time there was time to... I had free time. I just wanted to... Not quite lay down and die, but... I wanted to do my own stuff. And like chill out. Because relaxation is important. So yeah. I don't live in the cleanest of rooms. But it's clean enough for me, and a little bit of dirt never hurt anyone. It is a lot later than the last clip. It's about 12 hours <laughs> later, actually. <clears throat> I did audition for that role. Uh, the deadline got extended, so... I can't remember if I talked about that. So I, I didn't have to sneak it in under the wire. I did hurt my voice, though, <laughs> after I did it. It was quite gravelly, and I hadn't warmed up properly. Because uh, really the only talking I'd done was the vlog bit I filmed before that point. So uh, that was a mistake. <laughs> but it's all right now. It's all good. It, uh, it was just a twinge there for a bit. Just to be like, yeah, you fucked up. I was like, yeah, I, I fucked up. Today was really nice. Um, I had a day off. Like a full... Day off. I didn't have anything to do today. I did the cleaning because I wanted to. Um, I edited a couple videos for Zastroid to get ahead of the curve. So now there's Tears of the Kingdom queued, as well as Pokemon and Shadow. Um, I did some. It sounds really boring. I did some reorganizing of some of the files on my PC, which is boring, but like it needs to be done because it was getting cluttered. Um, and I, I got around to, I think I played, um, Tears of the Kingdom in the evening, like, I got around to it, but it wasn't the thing I did from dusk till dawn, which is what happened to me yesterday, which isn't a problem, but, um, it was nice, it was, I, f I felt accomplished, because I did things, but also I was taking, like, time for me, which was nice. Um, something I realized towards the end of the day after dinner was that, um, my internal monologue had stopped. I'm one of those people with a, a constant thing. So something has always got to be going on in here, which is it's not a problem. I get used to it. Um, a lot of the times it's helpful for staying on track of what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, someone's going to say, oh, that's an ADHD thing, or that's an autism thing, and it's like, probably, but it's not, like, affecting my life in any way. It's not detrimental to my experience, so I'll keep that going. I don't need the patch if it works. <laughs> A unique combination of, of things uh, resulted in it turning off. Which doesn't happen very often. So actually it was quiet. And I was like okay with it. I like sat and just kind of existed in that state for a while. Which was nice. Um, sometimes, depending on who you are, I don't know. I'm assuming other people have those. I've heard people have like semi, I don't know. I've never really like thought too hard into it or talked about it. Um, but sometimes I think if other people have that, then it turning off could be kind of scary because then you don't have anything going on at all. And it's like, it's quiet and radio silence and shit. I thought, I thought it was quite nice. I liked it. It, it was almost like, um, what's the best way to describe it? It's almost like the angel and the devil, you know, in the Emperor's New Groove when Kronk has on each shoulder 
and Kronk in this scenario. It was almost like they'd been talking to me the whole time. And then they were like, well, we kind of ran out of things to say, so I, I will just, I'm just going to go grab a coffee. And they fucked off for a bit. I just ran out of stuff to say to myself for a while. And it was nice. Yeah. And Tears of the Kingdom is really good. But that wasn't what the, the bit was about. But it is real good. And I am making progress. And I have theories, some of which got proven. Some of which have yet to be proven or discredited. And that's important. <sighs> I'm just about ready to go to bed. Because uh, I got work in the morning. I'm going to go back and deal with all of that. I'm trying to... I've spent a lot of the... I don't think I've talked about it on the vlog. Maybe I have. I can't remember. I've been trying in the last couple years to cut back on uh, self-deprecation and, and the like putting myself down which is great, it's good for my brain and it's good for my outlook on life um, and part and parcel of that is, and we'll talk a bit more about that some other time but the part and parcel of that is being like realistic about stuff, not optimistic not pessimistic but real I've, I've prided myself on my realism Somebody once um, tried to call me a realist as an insult. And I was just like, yeah, and... I didn't think that was an insult. I don't think it is, and I think it's quite reasonable. But then I'm a, I'm a realist. Uh, so I don't want to say... I don't want to... I don't want to say, oh man, I hate the, the show that I'm working on right now. And I don't want to do it, and I really just want to stop... And I don't, I don't want to say that because that's defeatist and pessimistic, but um, I, I do want it to be June. Kind of ready for June. And it's not even like mid-May yet, but I'm like, mm, if it could just be June, because there's shit going on. There's stuff coming up in June that I still haven't talked about that I teased while I was working on Peter Pan that I was going to talk about when it was all paid for, and I still haven't finished fucking paying for it. I haven't still finished booking it. I need to book the last couple of things. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow if I run out of jobs. Yeah. Um, I'm going to talk about that soon, but I need to measure things and book those things, and then we'll talk about it, because it's in a month, and I really need to do that. Okay. I'm actually going to go to bed now. I'll see you tomorrow, where I'll probably talk a little bit about the play I'm working on. See you then.